Although simple to make, the saw bench will open you up to a whole new world of really nice crafted items. To make the saw bench, you'll need only your workbench and 32 lumber. So go out, knock down some trees, and grab 8 logs. Turn those into 32 lumber, and you're all set. Now select crafting stations, saw bench, click craft object, and you're done. Go ahead and place the saw bench in a convenient work area, and we'll get started seeing what it can do. I should point out that in this video I'm using the default textures just to keep it simple. We'll take a quick look at the variety of available textures and how to apply them in just a minute. So open up your new saw bench and take a look at what's inside. Over on the left you'll see a list of item categories you can choose from. Construction, seatings, tables, cupboards, miscellaneous, decorations, doors, beds, bathroom, ladders, banister, chests, barriers, signs, and scaffolding. On the right, we see the item pane, which in many cases includes the left and right triangle buttons for selecting options. This is where we can choose textures. We'll just take a peek at some random samples to demonstrate the process. In the long run, it will be up to you to decide what will look best for your particular builds. The good news is that it's very much like picking out furniture for your home in real life. The bad news is that it's very much like picking out furniture for your home in real life. Sooner or later, you just have to make a decision. Most, but not all, items have multiple textures. I love the different looks you can use on the storage chests. Okay, let's see what we can do. We'll start with a simple plank of wood. I'll superimpose some bits of keyboard so you can better see how it works. Before you actually place something, you get to orient it any way you want. Use the left and right arrow keys to rotate it horizontally. Use the up and down arrow keys to tilt it toward or away from you. Use page up and page down keys to tilt it sideways. Now here's the really cool part for construction materials. If you hold down the shift key, you can actually change the size of the item. Now, left and right arrows make it narrower or wider. A simple plank can become a long stick or a full sheet of plywood. The up or down arrows make it longer or shorter. Basically, if it exists in a real lumber yard, you can probably make it here. Depending on what you're placing, you may get a little message in the lower left part of your screen indicating that you can press F1 to see a help screen overlay, so you never have to remember which keys do what. To do the final placement, click your right mouse key as usual. Sadly, at this point, you can no longer change the position or size of the object. The magical resizing of objects is available for all of the construction materials you see here. Everything else, as far as I can tell, only allows horizontal rotation, as you can see here in the help screen for those objects. We'll close out this video with a brief look at all the items that can be produced by the saw bench. The variety is just amazing. If you combine these with all the different textures available, the possibilities are almost endless. Imagine how you might use these furnishings in your own custom-built home. You even get everything you need for your poolside patio, including a piano? The scaffolding is more of for actual use than looks. The signs you see in the background are also available with a basic workbench. There's even a working drawbridge for easy access to your, uh, toilet? Even our road work can be done in style. As you can see with a saw bench, once you build the outer structure of your house, you can really do some serious decorating, both inside and out.